and my dear students my name is sandesh masi i am your computer teacher and today i am going to start class 6 computer chapter 1 and the name of the chapter is categories of computer and computer languages first of all we will see what is computer as uh, all of you know that computer is an electronic device that stores processes and gives out meaningful information in other words you can say it works on the ipo cycle it takes raw data as input it processes it and in the third step it gives out meaningful information it is also used to store a large amount of data and you know computer is used in hospitals in schools in banks in offices in malls in shops almost at every place you can see computer as you go for playing cricket you carry a cricket bag and uh, you keep your bat wickets ball all the things inside that bag sports bag if you go to school you carry a school bag in which you keep your notebooks copies pen pencil lunch box in that so for different purpose you use different bags in the same way for different task different types of work we use different types of computer so the same same thing we are going to study in this chapter different types of computer categories of computer so mainly there are four types of computers mainly there are four types of computers the first one is micro computer second is mini computer third is mainframe computer and fourth is super computer now first of all we see micro computer micro computer are the computers which are small in size and which cost less means the computer we use in our homes schools offices banks you can see in malls shopping malls shops these computers are micro computers these are designed for personal use that's why they are called pcs or personal computers now you will see the various types of micro computers there are various kinds of micro computers we use on our day to day life the various micro computer one of the micro computer is desktop computers it consist a monitor a cpu a keyboard and a mouse and which these types of computer you use at your home at school labs these are used in offices and many more places now the second type of micro computer we see a tablet tablet is bigger than a smartphone and smaller than a laptop you can do almost all the things which you do on a computer on a tablet normally it is used to play games to do the surfing on internet to do, do the shopping to play video games and you can do almost all the works which you do on your computer for looking browsing viewing photos for browsing internet watching movies all these things you can do using tablet you can read ebooks you know one more we will see laptop computers laptop computers are the small computers which you can keep on your lap and you can work on that they are battery operated computers their skin can be folded when it don't have any use when we don't want to use it we can fold it the screen it is battery operated it is portable you can carry it anywhere laptop computers are more ex expensive than desktop computers because of its portability so laptop computers you can do all the work which you do on a desktop you can do on a laptop and normally these laptops have a, a screen of 13 to 15 inches now we will see palm top computers palm palm top palm top computers are small computers that can fit 
in your hand in the palm of your hand these devices have similar feature that of a computer it has a small screen a compressed keyboard some of these keyboard computers replace a keyboard or mouse with a pen that serves as a input device now handheld device devices which can we take in our hands or which can be easily held in hands are known as handheld devices they can be conveniently carried in our pockets first of all second smartphones tablets are the few examples of handheld devices now we will see first smartphone all of you know smartphone a smartphone is handheld device that combines the features of a mobile phone as well as a computer means it is used for making and receiving calls text messages emailing browsing capturing and viewing photos videos gaming and much more you can browse internet do you can do shopping you can send emails whatever you want you can do with your smartphone that's why it is called smartphone game console game console yes game console is a device that is used to play interactive video games this device is equipped with a display screen game controls game controls means joystick to play games and a speaker it can also be connected to a television or a computer monitor in that case the user interacts with the game through handheld controller example of game consoles include microsoft xbox sony playstation nintendo gamecube and nintendo y etc so these are the game consoles now we will see about the embedded systems it is the system that has the computer hardware and the software embedded or implanted into larger devices it comprises of all the essential computer components like cpu ram rom input and output medium but it does not have a hard disk drive keyboard or screen it is designed to perform a specific task in various devices for example tv sets washing machines telephones digital cameras and dishwashers microwaves these are the devices in which embedded system is fixed means this system is fixed which has all the features of a computer now we will see the second category of computers first we studied about computer then we studied types of computer in that micro computer and various micro computers like desktop laptop palm top smartphone tablet game console embedded devices now we will see mini computer mini computer these are bigger in size than the micro computer the first feature it is bigger than the micro computer in size second high processing speed and it is more costly than micro computers remember it it is more costly than the micro computers second in our micro computer a single user works on a computer but this mini computer it supports 4 to 200 users at a time simultaneously examples are pdp8 hp2100 etc so these are the big computers used in industries in big organizations universities etc now we will see third category of computer it is main frame computer it is very 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 powerful large memory and high speed and it is actually designed to tackle a huge amount of data means a large amount of data it is used in banks ticket reservation railway ticket reservation airlines and at many other places ibm z series pdp10 are the example of these main frame computers and last we'll see super computer these are the most powerful huge processing speed computers these are used for weather forecasting space research satellite space research satellite control and many other works 
automobile engineering. The examples are Cray 1, Cray 2, Param, etc. Now, this is the first part for my video of chapter 1, Categories of Computer and Computer Languages. Here we discussed about what is computer, the types of computer, the four mainly four types, micro, mini, mainframe and supercomputer. Soon I will upload my next video. Till then, see you, bye bye and see you to all. Thanks for watching my video. And here's my WhatsApp number. If you have any query, you can contact me. I'm showing you. Just a minute. Mm, yeah. My name is Sandesh Masi. I'm your computer teacher. And uh, my WhatsApp number is 8057692618. And goodbye to my all dear students and all my viewers. Thank you. Have a nice day.